Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Aquarius and Aquarius, a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this relationship. I don't think this one is going to take long. I am going to pull some cards because my main goal here, yes, it is a relationship read. We also need to recognize who are the Aquariuses that are showing up and all of our reads, guys, you're like, who would, now we know that everybody's not the same. We get that. So we're trying to figure out who is who, right? That doesn't mean one person's going to be good. The other's going to be bad. They might both be bad. They might both be wonderful. Whatever. We'll see. Don't look like it to me so far, though. Somebody looks sad, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Aquarius A, what's going on with you? What is your main concern in this relationship right now? What is your main concern in this relationship? What's going on? What's going on? I'm going to take three cards. Get, hopefully it'll help me. All right, we got one. So somebody here is jealous. There's somebody who's trying to get over jealousy or somebody who's in such a state of jealousy. They don't know what to do with themselves. Like literally this person is like, let me just be clear. There's somebody in love, right? You got somebody over there hugging or whatever they're doing. And then you got this hater, right? This one over here, that person's a hater. I'm thinking that might be you. <laughs> It might be you, Aquarius. You hating? Let me. <laughs> I don't know who this is. You could feel this way about somebody, right? Because I said, "What are your feelings in this relationship?" You're like, "I feel jealous." Give me more. What else? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep these over here really quick so I can see them. Cause oh, the way this whole thing is set up, right? It's like, all right. So and y'all can see them too a little bit. All right. Then I'll be able to really look at them. All right. There's also another concern here with you guys: some money. So there's jealousy. There's some money or you can't get over your jealousy in the relationship or you're trying to get over it. And there's also something about some money. Somebody might owe you some money. Give me more. What else is Aquarius A concerned about? Let me shuffle these suckers up. Ain't but a few of them. Like the real... Even if I ordered another deck, I can't tell you the stock, the card stock is ain't going to change. Ain't no point. Ain't nothing wrong with them. All right, let's go. What else is going on? I did. Why is that thing there? I didn't even mean that. Hold up. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. One more. What's going on with Aquarius A? Aquarius A, there's something with Ecclesiastes. So something with the church or something with uh, some uh, religious setting. You could be living by a certain code. There's jealousy. There's something with some money. And then there's a preacher. This person is a preacher here. Wait, where'd my thing go? Hold up. I don't want y'all to see. Can you see that? That's the preacher right there, right? That's some money. And this is somebody who's hating and jealous in the background of somebody's relationship. So those are the things on your mind right now. I'm going to leave these here so I can see them. Y'all can see them too. Okay, there we go. All right, so what else is going on here? Tell me for Aquarius B, what is on their mind? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's on the mind of Aquarius B, please? What's on the mind? We have something about a letter. I was not given a letter. I did not receive some kind of communication or I did not communicate with you. Mm. This don't sound good. Ooh, child. Okay, what else happened here? What else is on Aquarius's B mind? So there's something about communication. It was sent or it wasn't sent or somebody sent it. Somebody didn't receive it. It was a letter. We also have here misfortune. There's some misfortune that occurs here for Aquarius B. Your main concern is a letter in misfortune, right? Maybe this letter has your fortune on the line. Like if you don't sign by this date or if you don't show up, such and such is going to happen. You didn't get this letter. One more, please. What else is going on here? What else for Aquarius B? Something about a visit. You didn't get some notification that you had to go somewhere. And I think that your fortune was on the line or something like that. Somebody didn't want you to visit somewhere. We have a letter here. We have somebody who's jealous. Maybe you guys are trying to get over some sort of jealousy. We have some communication about some money. So jealousy. Somebody's jealous of a relationship. There's something about some money here. There's something about a preacher that shows up. Something with a church or a preacher. We have a letter here. There's a relationship. There's a letter. We have some money. We have misfortune. Mm. Ecclesiastic. 
or Ecclesiastes, I believe it's Ecclesiastes, but if you would individually say Ecclesiastic, whatever. And then we have something about a visit. Give me the common energy. Help me understand what the connection is here, please. What is the connection? Uh, somebody didn't get a letter about some money. Yep, some loss. The common energy is both you guys lost something here. Let me just leave this here. There was a loss. There was somebody who was jealous of a relationship. There was a letter that was sent about some money. Somebody had some kind of misfortune, something having to do with a preacher, something having to do with a visit that went wrong, and somebody lost something. From the looks of it, I could say maybe somebody was at a casino, somebody gambled something. Either somebody was at a casino gambling, or there were gambling games being played at somebody's house. It could have even been in a hotel room or somebody's house. But there was something that went on at somebody's house. Somebody lost something. It looks like gambling. It was a visit. Or somebody didn't show up to visit because they didn't get a notification. Something like that. Whatever that means to you. So, again, Aquarius A. Hating. Jealousy. Not happy about something. Hating on somebody's relationship. Trying to get out of that energy. Something having to do with money in a Bible. A preacher. Aquarius B, there was a letter or communication that you did not get. The bird never delivered it. <laughs> Take that how you want. We also have something about this letter, something about misfortune. The letter, I didn't get the letter. This is misfortune. It might be, it might have been an offer of some sort, but there's something was a visit. The visit wasn't had, but it was about a loss. So somebody could have lost something. Maybe there was a letter saying, hey, somebody gambled your house away or whatever, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it here. Aquarius A, for some of you, and be clear, this is not going to be every Aquarius, Aquarius read. It is literally not because I'm looking to see who these people are, right? But this could entail some kind of love. Do I see love? No, I ain't really seeing a love here. I see five of cups. Somebody sad. <laughs> That's about all love y'all got here. So we have the five of cups that comes up reversed here for Aquarius A. You guys are in a state of indecision. For some of you guys, you have not made up your mind about some situation, but you need to. There's something here where you guys need to face the facts about some situation and understand it. Even though something didn't work out right here, that doesn't mean that it's not going to work out in the future. So you need to be hopeful about something. For some of you guys, there's something here where there's a situation that is bad and it's going to get worse. Some of you guys are trapped in the past. You can't let go. There's some emotional wounds that you guys are healing. I see you are healing out of this though, right? So you're coming out of that lost regret, sick, brooding kind of energy. I feel like you guys are getting out of that and you're healing from it here. Now, for some of you guys, this is obviously about a broken relationship, but for some of you, this Aquarius A here has a broken dream. So it could be a broken relationship that you guys are sad about or a broken dream. I mean, maybe you want it to be poker player number one in the whole wide world or something like that at these tables and it didn't happen for you. Looks like you lost big time. But you have some kind of dream that maybe you had to give up, whatever that's about, all right? So I also see here for you guys, you guys have um, you guys have the Ten of Swords that comes up here. There's something where you guys, you're sad here. So my question is and it seems like you're healing right so that's some kind of progress but when I look at this card it it almost kind of goes into this energy where you're not taking the steps to move into some sort of a new cycle it says that you guys are actually delaying something you're delaying or deceiving yourselves about some situation you're already sad about this situation already trying to heal from this situation so could this be another situation now we know this is about a relationship right you guys or this could be some partnership or something like that. Again, that could be you guys, too, whatever. A broken dream, something I can't do. There's something that you guys have accepted or maybe out loud you say, I accept this, but in the back of your mind, you're still doing something. I feel like there's this energy where you guys are holding back from taking the steps to do something that you want to do. Maybe live out this dream. And maybe that's why it says a broken dream over here or a broken relationship. But you guys are deceiving yourselves about something, deceiving yourselves about a situation. For some of you guys, you don't want something to change, right? It's like inside me, I want something to change. Inside me, I want something new. But to the outer world, I'm not ready to tell people that I've broken up with somebody or I'm not ready to tell people that I've given up on my dream of becoming the best 
I don't know, bass guitar player, whatever, whatever, right? There's something here where you guys are not ready to disclose it to the outside world is what I'm feeling here. So I also feel like there's something here where you guys are wanting to keep something status quo because of the way it looks. Like it looks good, so just let people think whatever, but inside you're like dying. For some of you guys here, it is an end of an era for you. Whenever you see the Ten of Swords, it comes out reversed here. It's the end of some sort of work group. End of an era. Colleagues. A time had for a season of whatever this is for you something is coming to an end for you guys here and I know that you guys don't want to change but if you don't you're just gonna prolong agony it's like that layoff that you know is coming up you know it's coming but you keep hoping oh it's not gonna happen whatever 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 but you feel like you guys kept getting these warning signs put your Put your resumes in order. Get them out there, right? You like It's like you've been warned of something and you guys are just not reacting to it. You'd rather stay in agony knowing that something's coming and I haven't prepared for what's coming next. At the end of the day, whatever this relationship is, there is a possibility, right, for you to be in a relationship with somebody and you guys break up and it doesn't drain your pocketbook. That's like a real relationship. It shouldn't always be about money. That's just my opinion. But breakups should not always be about money. The majority of them are so with that said, what I'm saying is I think with the five of cups here symbolizing some sort of a broken relationship and a broken partnership, taking into consideration that you're deceiving yourself about something having to do with work, I'm going to say that this has to do with work and love. So here we have the wheel of fortune that comes up. I feel like this is a double hit. You lose your man, you lose your woman, and you lose your job. You lose something. But you have the Wheel of Fortune. It comes out reversed here. You guys are holding back your destiny here. There's some, again, confirmation, refusal to make some sort of change to get prepared for something that is coming. There are changes that are coming. They're necessary changes. For some of you guys, you have to take the actions that are required to move. Actions. Notice I said, because there are a few actions that need to be taken, right? Outstanding list. So there's some things that need to be done so you guys can progress and move over into the next stage of something. There's delays. Delays because of lack of commitment, right? So again, this circles back to everything that I was saying. You know the relationship is on the rocks. You tried to fix it 20 times. What do you do? Do you have anything coming from your partner saying, yeah, we're going to work on this? I mean, I'm just saying some things need to be tightened up. You need to get a grip on a situation so you can get a handle on everything. But the Wheel of Fortune, it just says that you lose here. There's something where this is a downturn in fortune. This has impacted your pocketbook, Aquarius, whatever this is. This is going to impact your pocketbook. Some of you guys could be seeking a preacher for advice. For some of you guys, you could be seeking a preacher for some money. For some of you guys, you could be seeking a preacher to get over this feeling of jealousy or something that you have, trying to let something go here. I'm healing from it. I feel like there's some confirmation that something went wrong in a relationship. Now, I will tell you this. I see two people here, but I could also say there were two people in one relationship having very different perspectives. That means if I talk to Aquarius A, I'm going to get a completely different story or story of experience or recount of experience than I do from Aquarius B. We have the magician that comes out reverse for Aquarius B. They're doing some stuff, you know, hanging out. Aquarius B is communicating with people from the past. They are communicating with a group of people. Could be a family. One of the family matriarchs could be a Virgo or Gemini. I'm going to say it's Virgo here. Just based off the text. So your Aquarius B could be heavily involved with some sort of a family matriarch or somebody here. Or they could be the matriarch. However this goes for you. Somebody over here is not ready to make some changes they're not ready for things to come out i feel like there are changes going on on the inside of aquarius b also but i feel like with them they really some of them don't really know what's going on yet they don't know but some of them I, this let's put it the first card coming out this person is not living in reality all right this is a fantasy world and it has been constructed by aquarius b the first card tells me either they created La La Land or somebody's creating La La Land for them. This is a magician reverse. There's a first card that comes up for Aquarius B. So somebody's practicing dark magic, right? Somebody's trying to make magic stuff happen. So things are going their favor, all right? They're saying presto, they're stirring up ingredients, but also they're communicating with a group of people here. This is trickery. 
great plans without foundations. This is dark magic being practiced. Somebody's not ready to change something and not ready to communicate something. And it's because they don't know why. It's because they have no grip on reality. They're too congested with things that are magical, right? So when magic creates an illusion, you live in a fantasy world. So when the smoke clears, you don't really know what's what. And I feel like that's where this energy is at this time. There's something about restrictions. I will tell you this. If you guys are in a relationship, there's a Virgo here who is doing dark magic to make sure things don't go the way they're supposed to go for you guys. There's restrictions at every turn, even though you are ready to make some sort of a change, Aquarius B. So you might be trying to get out of something. This person could be a baby mama, baby daddy, an ex-partner, whoever. They're holding on to you. They want things to go in their favor and they're doing dark magic. Or this could be Aquarius B doing dark magic on Aquarius A. Take it how it resonates. Somebody's over here getting busy with presto. That's something I'm saying. So there are restrictions. Somebody's putting obstacles in your way. Somebody's trying to stop you from doing something, from growing, from getting into another relationship or a healthy relationship. Somebody's doing black magic on you. Somebody's gathering family members here, family members here doing rituals as family or it could be lodges or any of these groups. But the magician card, if it's upright, it talks about family gatherings, a gathering of family but we're going to, because what is a family to somebody? It's just the same thing to me as like the white picket fence, right? So my white picket fence is an apartment somewhere, somewhere. To so somebody else, it's a big giant house in the suburbs. So somebody's family, <clears throat> the text is family, but it also includes groups, you know, ideology groups or whatever is going on. People are doing dark magic here. That's what my point is. They're doing it because they feel like it's going to bring them some sort of material wealth here, happiness, they're going to have some, somebody's expecting this joyous outcome with the sun card. So they're expecting joy, happiness, money. They want it all, right? With the sun card. This is something about this person, this Aquarius B. You feel, you feel happy. I feel like there's confidence here. For some of you guys, this is the beginning of something. It's the beginning of your past work bearing some sort of fruit, right? But remember... I feel like this is, I feel like this is la la land. Somebody is doing something to manipulate the results. That is black magic. That is them reaching out to a group of people. All right. Whether it be them people that do the stats, who is them? You know, them people that do the stats. You know, they doctor up the stats, just like they do down at YouTube. The employees down at YouTube with the YouTube deal. The one that the companies claim they don't know about, but they know the employees that are part of the COVID are the ones that are making the magic happen, right? They make magic happen. They make you, your views that go from, I don't know, 500 to one to literally one, right? So they're making magic happen. And that's who this Virgo here is reaching out to. They're reaching out to contacts from the past to get something done. They're also doing rituals with family members, right? Rituals with family members, rituals with groups. They're doing it to get some kind of happiness and joy or a uh, uh, wealthy life. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Shiny lifestyle. Everything you could ever want. Any part, any store you walk into, they can get what this is what their goal is here by doing this dark magic. So yes, this person appears to be shiny. They appear to be doing great. But it says here that some of you guys are deceiving yourselves, Aquarius A. So there's some deception going on. Aquarius B, you are deceiving Aquarius A. They don't know what's going on. It's just like, I don't know. I'm just sitting in agony. I can't really get out of it because somebody's doing dark magic, but somebody's doing dark magic to keep material goods coming. Somebody's taking trips here with this sun card extended trip with kids. Somebody's expecting children in their lives. Somebody could be pregnant here. Somebody's being sheltered from harsh weather. So message, if you guys have like a homeless relative or something like that, it says something, it says they're being sheltered. So I'm not saying don't worry, but I don't know, whatever that is to somebody. So we do see some extended trips being taken here. Somebody could be traveling. I just feel like this magician card reversed is what gives this Aquarius B so much vitality. That's my point. They have this energy, vitality to do whatever they want because of manipulation. But if we go over to the star card that comes out reversed here, this public, this person could be in a public eye. This Aquarius B could be dealing with, <clears throat> I'm sorry, could be dealing with, well, there you are, another Aquarius, which is you, or it could be a third Aquarius, a Virgo, a Leo, 
Those could be the individual energy showing up for Aquarius B, but this could be a baby mama, this one over here doing magic, or that's you, Aquarius B, doing magic on uh, Aquarius A. You're doing something. But we have the star card that comes out reverse for some of you guys here, Aquarius B, seeking your path in your own private way, meaning you don't want anybody to know what you're going, what's going on with you internally. See, over here, we have one that they probably don't understand what's going on as much as you do, but you know that there's some changes. There's some changes coming up for you guys. You're dealing with it in a private way. You are alone, but the cards say that you are also resentful of outer obligations, meaning you're alone, you're thinking, you're getting whatever done. You, It's like, I want alone time so I can deal with some things here, right? Because I feel like you guys get hit with the okie doke. Like after the material wealth and everything, it looks like either it didn't make you happy because I think you're starting to know that whatever these golds are, literally gold, silver, all types of stuff, I don't think this is making you happy here. So when you have the star card that comes out reverse, this is you starting to seek your own path in a private way. Your own path, not a path that is manipulated with the magician card. Your own path, like who am I without this magic? Who am I without this group of people? Who am I? How do I function without these folks and their tricks? And how do I function without these contacts from the past? Can I make it on my own? I think you guys start to question yourself. So I feel like this is some self-development going on for Aquarius B. But I also feel like if you presented yourself in this way to Aquarius A, it is manipulative. All right. I don't even know if this person knew that you were reaching out to a group of people to get something done. At the end of the day, the common energy between you guys, we have the page of Pentacles that comes out reverse. So this is somebody driving this or the energy driving this relationship is somebody who is lazy, unmotivated, and uninterested in furthering themselves. They won't even go to school. They won't work. And there's bad news coming in about money. This is a page. This could be a child. Some of y'all, y'all's kids failed some sort of an exam. Others of you, <clears throat> you had a child fail initiation. It is what it is. They failed. They ain't getting the initiation. Ain't work. They failed. The college exam. It says they failed that too. But they either failed an exam or they failed the initiation. Listen, you take your health resignation. Knock yourself out. <laughs> anyway, there's also the cards are saying here. There's something here. Bad money. Bad news about money coming in. Disappointment because you guys are going to find out that somebody failed an exam or failed an initiation. Somebody is not going to get into the college that they want or they did not. Or they didn't get into the coven that they wanted to get into or gang. There's something where there's more effort needed on a part of this page of pentacles. There's both you energies. I don't know if this is your kid. But I feel like for some of y'all, this is just a common energy. Right? I do. All talk and no action. All talk, no action. You see Aquarius A sitting in a state of indecision. They're not willing to make up their mind about something. But then you have this other one over here doing dark magic because they want fast results and they don't want to do the work. So it equates to Page of Pentacles, which is laziness. People who are lazy, unmotivated, and uninterested in working. Lazy, unmotivated, and uninterested in furthering oneself through education, through work, violent nothing. They ain't getting up off the couch. Like, listen... I'm going to go get me some celery and vinegar. I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to say a chant. And I'm going to make sure that I got a million dollars in my... I guess it was it was working. It looked like you was hoping it would. It looked like it worked for a minute. But then you got hit with the okie doke here where it says at some point you start to realize that you needed shelter. <laughs> you needed some shelter from the harsh weather. That's when you started to realize Aquarius B that your magic wasn't working. Your concoction wasn't working. Because you went right into the star reversed here. There's no renewal. Ain't going to be none of that. Folks is lazy. I'm just saying. Right? So whatever you were hoping to renew in some situation is probably not going to happen. But laziness is what's driving this relationship. It is what's driving this state of indecision. It is what's driving this one over here to be stuck in the past and trapped. Prolonging agony. These are just very stubborn. That's what I equate this to. You're stubborn people, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> 
Mm -hmm. All right, let me see something. <sighs> All right. I'm here, y'all. I don't know what time it is. Don't ask. I ain't going to ask you and you don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going until I can. I'll crash at some point. <sighs> All right, let's go. What we got? Um... Mm -mm -mm. What do I want to know, though? What's up with this letter? What's what's up with this visit? This visit that was taken by Aquarius B. Why is it that the main concern? They were hoping for some sort of good news. Something about a reward here. They were hoping to move on and get good news from something. But they wound up feeling unfulfilled. Something about a key. This could have been about a house. There was some secret. There was a secret that was going to come out. Somebody has psychic abilities. Oh, something came out about somebody's psychic abilities, right? And it caused some kind of mental setbacks. Somebody was hoping to get some kind of reward for something, but then they had to retreat and go away from it. There's something about a surprise gift that came. That could have been a letter. The letter was about a key, and it looks like it may have been handled or taken from a Pisces. There's also something with this caused some kind of mental stress for you guys. You're trying to call judgment on something. You know somebody was being dishonest. Somebody lied and had surgery. They had a surgery they didn't want nobody to know about. Somebody's not taking accountability for something that they've done. They're blaming other people for what they did. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could be an artist or an entrepreneur. Yep, we get that. Somebody who has probably just moved into a new home or has a new business residence. They run a small business from the house. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I feel like somebody missed some communication about a reward. Somebody with psychic abilities missed a letter about a reward or recognition. There was a secret that a Pisces energy or high priestess, a high priestess, that could have been this uh, Virgo over here too in this read, took their communication, took their letter, right? So we see that's one thing, but I also feel like somebody was using dark magic. Now, Aquarius B, if you don't do dark magic, and I'm going to say it was a Virgo doing dark magic on you, it could have been another Aquarius in on it too, but I feel like it was definitely a Virgo. Who did dark magic on you? Who, why, why, okay, this, why are they doing dark magic? I mean, I understand why. They want stuff to go their way. There was something where they wanted to have some kind of harmony with a Cancer or a Sagittarius. There may have been some beef with a Cancer or a Sagittarius here about a new project. Somebody wanted to create something. Somebody didn't want somebody to be around their partner. So this Virgo may have been, I don't know how this plays out. A Virgo may have been, this might be an ex-partner, this Virgo. Might be an ex-partner or somebody and they didn't want y'all to get together. Because this person, somebody was feeling lost in regret because somebody left them. So it looks like Aquarius, you may have left this Virgo and they got mad. There's some kind of beef had with a Cancer or a Sagittarius over a new project. And there's some kind of loss and regret. Somebody abandoned something. Somebody left you. I don't know. Something about property. There's some fight over property. And somebody's kid. Again, these kids keep showing up. It just might mean somebody who's younger. Somebody could have been fighting over somebody younger and property or something like that. Mm. Okay. What's up with... What do I need to know here? Tell me about this jealousy. Why is Aquarius A jealous? Or what's the story behind it? What's je yeah, somebody younger. Hold on. Why? Somebody young and in school. Somebody was jealous of somebody who was younger than them. Somebody who was in school. Somebody was acting immaturely. Or the person who's jealous. This could have been your energy where you were acting immaturely. Give me more. Somebody has to make a decision about something. There's some information that comes in, information overload. Somebody needs to compromise about something. They were confused. Somebody's confused about a kid. Oh, child. There's some person hating over here. And I said, what's the story behind it? There's some kid who might have looked into something or this is about a kid. This is about some confusion behind who a kid is. Indecision. 
information overload, somebody betrayed somebody in a partnership or betrayed somebody in love. So somebody's questioning who, who is, I don't know, who's the daddy. That's what it sounds like. But it's also drama and manipulation. Somebody doesn't want to deal with drama and manipulation over a kid. I think that person hating, I don't know, why is a person hating though? I, maybe you didn't have kids with this person and you had kids with somebody else. Somebody got caught in the act of doing something with a kid. Or got caught in the act of doing something. Huh. Somebody that was loved by family. Somebody who is usually held in high honor. Yeah, there's some kind of tower falling for this person. Oh. I think this is the person that was hating. Something's going to fall apart. Because we have the tower card that comes out. This is a collapse of something. Somebody having anxiety. Fabricated walls falling down. Everything that they built, gone. Right? Whatever reputation they had. And maybe they... Because remember, this person was in high honor. And now the tower's coming down. Because of something. They Because they got caught in the act of stealing something. Something with a kid. This confusion, indecision. is something with a kid or somebody younger... That they got caught in the act of doing something with. Somebody who's typically calm, wise. The tower falls on this person. Pride before the fall. This person may have had pride before they fell. The lovers reversed here. Discord in a relationship. Whatever happened with this younger energy caused some kind of discord in this relationship. Or it could be a Gemini involved. Aries, Leo, Sag. We know that. Let me see what the major arcana is out over here. Hold on if I pulled any. High Priestess, that's Pisces energy. Some this could in, this could be something about a Pisces kid too. Who knows? Know. All right, let me get into something else because this ain't even my point. I got the story. Hold on, let me just see something else. Hmm. What do I need to look at? Five of Cups. Hold on, y'all. Let's do incision. Give me the Ten of Swords. Uh, what are these cards? Hold on, y'all. There might have been some kind of abuse here or assault or an attempt of an assault, a failed assault on the part of an Aquarius. Something with a failed assault. Maybe somebody was trying to attack somebody, Aquarius A. I don't know if this is an attack here. Funny, <laughs> from another deck, we have whips here. Isn't that something? That's, that's really funny. Somebody may have been attacked, brutally attacked. There's something about brutality that comes up, or this could have been an abusive relationship. Give me, okay. Hold on. So we have landfill. Something could have happened in a landfill. That never sounds safe. A landfill. They dump bodies or something in the movies. In a landfill with a bunch of garbage, and nobody can tell the body is under there, whatever's going on. And then they put that stuff on fire, too. I remember that. They used to do that out there. Where was I? In Brookside? Yep, right over there. The burning garbage. That's a place to build the projects. There you go. All right, hold up, y'all. <laughs> well, at least it was by water. Whatever. Anyway, tell me uh, what's going on here. This lover's reversed here. Somebody's relationship is falling apart. There could have been somebody cheating, a third party, which is where we get this page from. Is it a page? Yeah. Is it a page? Yeah. Somebody was cheating. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to turn these cards over. Somebody was cheating and carrying on. All right, what's going on here? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Okay, something about a landfill DNA. Somebody wanted somebody gone. That's what I get out of that. So they could get their DNA or something like that. We also have something. Somebody's going to deny that something was premeditated. This is A that I'm talking about. you denying that something was premeditated. Somebody in a landfill. Somebody with a, a particular DNA, you saying it wasn't premeditated, but notice that the judge is little, what's that thing called? The little hammer? It, it says otherwise. They're saying that it was premeditated. You did something and you thought about it. They got searches and stuff. There was, a, I, listen, irony. Did you try and delete the incoming messages to hide that something was premeditated? The judge said that it was, it, you thought about this. It was premeditated. Because they found an email. Notice the beautiful lights that shine around this email thing. The envelope. Alright, so 
Somebody found out that you tried to, somebody was supposed to brutally attack you or you were supposed to brutally attack them or somebody got beat up in a landfill. Uh, there's gambling tables here. This could be, this could be some sharking going on or something like that. Could be. What do I need to know? The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Oh, uh, we are, oh, wait, is that? Yeah, Will, why'd you go broke though? What's this about? Well, I think we got the answer to that. Family dynasty. Somebody gambled the family dynasty away. So something about control. Somebody wanted to control the family dynasty. So they gambled some money. Something having to do with that. <clears throat> they could have did it with another country. Family dynasty. Control. To gain control over something is to... Right? So you can get control. You do this so you can get control. Oh my goodness. This person shows up. Royalty shows up. So that's irony to me. You got that that shows up. This right here shows up. And then we got that that shows up. Family dynasties being impacted. People want control. I want you to understand that these folks... Are possibly connected. They are connected. You see the puppet here to control. Puppets on a string. So somebody's running somebody. Either they are running you. Or you are running them. <sighs> Libra. Oh, did I say what? We do? Oh, Aquarius. Oh, child. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Aquarius. Some of you guys have to deal with this Virgo here. You got to deal with a Virgo. You got to deal with a Leo. You have to deal with this Aquarius. There's a third Aquarius showing up here. You have to deal with a group of people. It could be them folks right there. The ones that I just called off. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. What else do I need to know? This is about this. All right. And people doing hit and runs to mask something. Somebody who's a friend. Somebody did not keep something top secret. It had to do with abuse and neglect. Crimes against that. Humanity. A friend. Top secret. No longer a secret. It's a public secret. Somebody abused and neglected somebody. And now somebody's having memories. Yep. Memories of an affair. Greed is reverse. Travel. So somebody can't be greedy or travel anymore. Well, the page of Pentacles here says that you lazy and unmotivated. There's a secret weapon or and somebody wasn't loyal. It could have been this friend here that wasn't loyal. Anyway, that's all. I wanted to see what was what. That's all I got for you guys. I love you. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hold up. I knew there was something else I needed to do. Hang on, you all. How come I feel like these are not all the cards? They're not. What I, I feel like it's not. Oh, maybe they are. Yeah, I gotta check that. It don't really feel right. What's going? Give me one card for each of these people. If this comes down to, because we see, I think we found the crime. We found some crime, but is there anything morally or ethnic or whatever? Any other? Hmm. Abandoned. Somebody got. Somebody got abandoned. Somebody could have left a relationship. Maybe that's what the Five of Cups are, is about. Somebody could have been abandoned as a child. So there's some abandonment going on there for Aquarius A. Give me Aquarius B. This one's a stalker. Yep, makes sense. So this would this is a stalker here. This I will tell you this. The Aquarius B seems to be the uh weirdo. They got ups and downs, but they're a little weird. I'm just saying, like, you mad weird. You stalking people, working with groups of people. But I guess you have to see how your dark magic is going. So I guess it all equates, right? You do dark magic, you then stalk to see if it works. 
hoping for material gain, and it looks like you got hit with the okie doke of no renewal. So I don't think that worked out too well for you. It also says here that you're lazy, <laughs> unmotivated, and uninterested in furthering yourself. <laughs> I know, right? Bye, y'all. I love you.